All right. Staying in the robot zone, because that's what you would do, although this is not exactly a robot. This is a great story. This is a cool story. It's on Popular Mechanics. Paralyzed man walks in brain-controlled exoskeleton. This is just major cool factor, Will. I don't know if you know what's cool or not, but this is major cool factor. Really? Yeah. All right. I'll note it. So check this guy out. You have a, a legit exoskeleton. He was paralyzed. There was some sort of an accident. He fell off a balcony in a nightclub, and he was paralyzed, I believe, from the neck down, with the exception of a little bit of feeling in, in one of his arms left over, but basically couldn't move at all. And now they, they've given him a brain implant, semi-invasive brain implant. They trained it using his own thoughts, his own uh, signals that would come via your brain into your movements, and then map that to a physical exoskeleton that allows him to move around like a human. Huh. Uh, not in a wheelchair. I'm talking legs, arms, and there's a video on here. Where's the video? There's a video of him walking. Oh, maybe that was on YouTube. Maybe you have to go to YouTube to see that. Maybe that's not in this particular article. See if you can find it. There it is. That's the video. It's, it's not perfect. All right, he, it's not moving super quick, and he's in a controlled environment, but he's moving, and that's his brain doing it, Will. Hmm. you got to be impressed by that. Yeah, he's taking, like, no pun intended, the necessary steps. Like, you can see the motion of him stepping, like, one foot forward. This is how they like trained it, with these tiny little movements hitting these dots, even prior to the suit being built, there were little video games in which he would use his mind to train the software mm -hmm. to eventually figure out how the impulse, the thought, should then turn into a, an action. So, let's see here. When training to turn on the brain-powered switch, work began rapidly just two months after surgery, he was successful 73% of the time using the exoskeleton. Our patient already considers his rapidly increasing prosthetic mobility to be rewarding. But his progress has not changed his clinical status. Well, no, of course, not yet. You can see he's hooked up. The, there's a balancing system that hooks him up to the ceiling there so that he can't uh, obviously hurt himself too badly he's still rigged up in this whole thing but w the implications here are massive if all of a sudden you have a person moving via their own thoughts but without having to use their own muscles not just for paralyzed people but also just for humans of the future imagine who's going to use their own muscles well mm -hmm. no, and I'm this technology is going to get smaller too smaller you're just, everyone's going to throw their suit on, be super powered. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. Of course, in the meantime, it's cool that it's emerging as a potential help for, some, for someone who has lost their mobility. You can imagine that moment, Will, of saying, I'm going to walk, I'm going to move my left leg, and actually moving, having not done it for years, having been paralyzed. That's got to be a real feeling of freedom. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. I love to see stories like this where technology is capable of delivering those experiences that just previously would not be something that could, could be approached at all. A whole body robotic system. Very cool.